So this is a tricky one. We've lost two trades in a row on the euro, albeit very small trades, uh, about 20 pips each. Um, and we've just broken down through the 200 period moving average, but we're very oversold and we're right at this 61.8% Fibonacci. And even though we've closed beneath that one uh, on a couple of occasion, occasions, uh, well, two hours, if we look at the longer term view, there's another line there which you can see going back a little bit further. This line here, um, this, sorry, this one here, it's actually the shorter term line. This six, sorry, I was looking at the longer term, this 61.8% here, this one that we're at right now, we haven't actually closed beneath it. And we haven't really closed beneath the 200 hour moving average. So it's a tricky one. We've lost two small trades in a row, very small, very small, tight stop losses, very small losses. But um, I know what it's like to be a new trader. That can be very daunting. Just to lose one trade is bad enough for some traders. But um, there you go. I'm going to take a long trade on the euro um, and I'm going to post it to my members and let them know. Um, again, with a small position, I'm aiming up for um, up here somewhere. Now, just one other thing, we've just started the New York session. This move occurred over the Asian and the European session. So very often what happens is you get a change in direction when different sessions begin. And because we're starting the New York session, it's possible that we might have a bit of a retracement on the euro and move back up again. Um, and bear in mind, we're still actually technically in a long trend being above the 200 moving average. So it's probably worth a go. I'm going to send an alert out. Um, I've got a short trade on the Australian dollar, which is just sort of really still going nowhere after all this time. Um, after all of that time, which is really going back to um, the 23rd of March. It's now the 1st of April, so a uh, long time in the doldrums, but still just hanging in there. So that one I'm just going to leave. And then on the pound, nothing. Um, you can see we've spiked through, gone through the 61.8%, very similar to the euro. And in fact, we haven't really closed beneath that 618, although we did move quite significantly below it. Just below there is the 78.6% FIB. I'd rather wait on the pound for us to get to that sort of area bearing in mind that we're in technically in a downtrend now and we have been since this break through the moving average. So I'd rather be a bit more cautious on that. So that's a quick update and uh, it's Friday afternoon. New York session will be over in, well, in a number of hours, just four or five hours from now. So this will be my last trade um, attempt and last update. So um, I'll see you on Sunday for a, a weekly update and some more insights on an interesting topic that I'd like to share with you. So I'll speak to you then.